with them. But it Hey y'all, Alex here. It's another overcast day, but uh, at least it's not raining. Otherwise, uh, I probably wouldn't be doing this. It would have been like the early January days, but uh, it's pretty much almost three weeks since we've been to uh, the, the new year. I don't think anybody's saying Happy New Year at that time. Just got off this Fluxy Outlook streaker here at 4552 on Route 510. And a uh, fun fact, uh, 510 Spadina used to be called the Spadina LRT when it opened in the late 90s, but uh, the TDC just decided to just use the term street car instead. I mean, to you, it, 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 whoa, that's a loud horn from that truck right there. I mean, to you, I mean, it looks like a, a casual LRT line, but of course, you know, the street car is there. Most of our streetcar lines in the city, they're all mixed in with traffic, but this one, however, it, it can be considered like an LRT because it is separate from... Uh, from uh, traffic, though it does uh, stop at uh, all intersections. That of obviously when there's uh, street lights. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. We're here at the downtown waterfront Friday afternoon rush hour, and it is. I was just. Oh shit! I thought I lost my phone. Damn it, yo. There we go. Four or five. Yes, there's a CN Tower, and it looks like they are building yet another uh, another condo here right by the waterfront. So we're here at HTO Park West. I haven't been here since uh, I think spring when I did a walking video here at the other direction or was probably off camera in the summer. I can't remember, but never mind the overcast day. It's still a good day to go out. Also, I'm busy this weekend. Uh, my birthday is on Monday. So uh, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna be a little busy uh, celebrating here and there and having food and having cousins over. Whom I'm not sure when the hell I'm gonna get a video with them or even go to freaking Hamilton. I want to go to Hamilton for a while. Visit my cousin Andrew. He has a car and uh, he can drive me around, possibly do a video. Look, look, there's the uh, Rogers. Well, I don't think anybody wants to call it the Rogers Center because it's always everybody, every single Toronto probably calls it the Sky Dome these days because it, it definitely is a retractable dome. I also did see some images online that uh, about uh, <laughs> the, the their new renderings for the uh, renovations. They've been uh, working on it very well. Of course, the uh, Skydome is home of the Toronto Blue Jays, and it used to be home of the Argonauts. Normally, there'd be a lot of people here, but uh, of course, you know it's winter. Today is the twentieth uh, of January, twenty twenty-three. Though I have seen like our. Have seen fellow like YouTube streamers. They have often come down here. Let's say Lizzo, for example, another one. A little bit of a millennial, I should say. Yeah, so yeah, there it is. There's a Sky Dome, or if you don't want to, or if you want to be young, called the Roger Center. Well, I was born before the, uh, the name change in 2005. Everybody says it's probably abomination. If you agree with me. Because now Rogers owns the, the Rogers owns this freaking stadium, but it's always been a, it's always been the Sky Dome to a lot of people because it dev, obviously it looks like a, a retractable dome. So what the hell? Over the years, they've really uh, revitalized this, uh, the waterfront, specifically in the 2010s. Now uh, East of Young in the East Bayfront District, they are really just going at it. They're redeveloping the area and also building new neighborhoods over there. So I forgot to mention, we are walking right next to Queens Key West and of course right over there is Lake Ontario. And of course, the Toronto Islands, which I haven't been to since uh, 2016. So about almost seven years. I kind of wanted to. I kind of wanted to go there like past few summers, but you see how expensive it is to uh, to use the ferry to get over there. There it is. I forgot what beach that is over there. It's certainly not uh, um, Sugar Beach. But well, Sugar Beach is at the uh, is east of Young. But I think we're going to uh, head down to the water. So you get across here. There's the wave deck. I don't often. Uh, come down here mainly because it's so freaking cold that <laughs> down here because you know when you're by the water of course of course you're gonna, of course you're gonna feel the effects right and what it's, it's zero celsius so at least it's not so bad i saw that ken from the ken continuum is live maybe i'll run into him i don't always i don't know i don't often uh 
going to live streams anymore because of how busy I am and stuff. You know, I used to be very active. Those of you that are really that uh, often uh, saw me in the chats, like back in like oh, what what last year, year before, but uh, for, for to nowadays, no. But most of the times, I just sit down and lurk because you know since. Pretty much the reason why I don't really like go often the live not just because I'm busy, because you know, because you know, of course, I, I'm I'm always signed into my actual channel name, and I don't really want to like give my uh, identity to a lot of other people. I mean, sure, I mean, I mean, I mean, I definitely want you guys to subscribe, and of course, stay tuned for for more videos to come. But really, I mean, I don't really feel like I am jaywalking here. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Well, at least there's no traffic coming by. <laughs> oh god. Oh my gosh. Don't cancel me for that. <laughs> and, and what's even worse, there's a police station there. Ah. Okay. Let's just uh I thought that was a way to get to like closer to water, but uh no, that's the police station. Look, Swiss Chalet, Harvey's. I have, I don't think I've been to any of these restaurants there. I've been into the Timmy's right there. This is the old, this is the first walking video I filmed today. I actually just came from the airport. Why? Because I wanted to. Uh, because uh, you know the airport Orion Sevens that just re-entered service. One was in service, which was eight thousand nine. Well, actually, I wanted to film a ride on the Nova on the, on the nine hundred hence to Pearson. And then I hung out there for about an hour filming the elevators when I successfully filmed my ride southbound on, on uh, 8008. And then when I got off at Kipling Station, I saw 8010 departing. So there was only a few of these buses um, entering, um, re-entering service because the Nova is, of course, Novas are very prone to like breaking down. There's not enough like buses or luggage even. So uh, who knows how long they're going to... They're gonna last, but uh, glad I got my ride on them. And I also, it's like the third time in like, what, a week? This like this this work week I went to Kidlock Station. It was like a, like Wednesday and then Monday. Yeah, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get myself I'm, I'm gonna get myself a break from going to Kipling uh, for uh, probably the rest of the month because we're, we're technically at the end of the month. We're we're at the end of January already, so. Are these actually police officers or just security guards? Anyway, let's head over there. This is where they had the uh, the big uh, New Year celebration down here. All of the streamers that I know and subscribe to, they were all there. Lizzo, Johnny Strides, Ken, and even a YouTube friend of mine who goes by the name of Sapan TTC Explorer, he was also there. I think next New Year's, I'm going to be there for sure. Ah, I, hear, I hear sirens, but uh, I'm filming a walking video right now, so I would just normally catch it. I put on my random clips. Look at that, eh? Love the CN Tower view up close right here. And look, there's the Gardner Expressway. You can barely see it, but it's obviously right behind these buildings. It was just in the news. I saw on Blog TO that. Uh, the skating rink here is closed, and I think they're going to build a new one, or, or just expand the public space. I'm not too sure, but uh, there was a skating rink around here, though. This place is always bustling in the summers. It's kind of just like surreal to uh, see it quiet in the dead of winter, you know. I haven't been here in so long. Where, where the hell was the skating rink? Was it, was, am I walking on what used to be it right now? Or, oh, it might've been over there. Yeah, I haven't been here in so long. I don't often come down here. Though well, maybe I should more often. I mean, I love the waterfronts and stuff, but uh, during the winter, there's like nothing happening here. Look, normally, normally in the summer, there would be a lot of like, Musical acts playing here, local. Unless this, unless the skating rink was just down, was just down the path here. Oh crap! Camera's out of focus. Kind of want to do another walking video after this. 
But I don't know. I kind of feel like going home. I've been out since like 12.15. I went to the airport. Well, well so I can... Uh, oh, I hear it. Is that the sound of planes I'm hearing? That's over at uh, Billy Bishop Airport or what or what uh, locals call the Island Airport. Look, there it is. I've never, ever been there. You can get there via the uh, World's Shortest Ferry or you can uh, take the underground uh, tunnel. But yeah, that's the... That's the uh, Second international airport, of course, and anyone is piercing where it's just at. So I think by now you should probably see uh, the videos I did on uh, Route 900. Yep, this was the skating rink right here. It was right here, and as you can see, they've uh, pretty much fenced it and uh, boarded up the trees here. I think by the summer they should. Uh, Already like finished like what they yeah there it is. I never once on this skating rink growing up, but uh, oh somebody's going at it with a siren. And look, there's the islands right there. I think that's Ward's Island if I'm not mistaken. Or is that no Ward Ward's might be like I can't remember where Ward's is. I haven't been there in like since since 2016. But of course Center Island's like physically the center of it, so. Don't worry, I will eventually get out to the island, just not sure when. Is that a plane coming? Is it one of these like cargo planes or these actual passenger planes that are landing at, at uh, YZZ? So this is the Harbor Front Center, of course. And that building right there is a mix of offices and residential units. Called the Queen's Key Terminal, even though it's actually not a terminal, it's just a complex. Normally I would just like stop and zoom in, but now nah, I'm gonna keep going. Every time I stop and look, I feel like I'm wasting time. This is not for my random clips. Like I'm, I'm literally filming a freaking walking video. <sighs> yeah, it looks like it's a real passenger plane. It's landing at, at Billy Bishop. Woo. Okay, maybe I will zoom in. Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Stupid freaking, freaking focus. Yep, definitely landing there. Touchdown. Wonder where it just came from. Man, I hate when it does this. Need to find a way to uh, fix autofocus on that. Look, there's one of those little uh, cruises that operate predominantly in the summer. So like everything is closed, that's why it's winter. That was still a good sighting though. I mean, I, I mean, stupid focus can let me zoom in, but. There's an interesting view coming up. Look, there's a new Cherry Street Bridge that I haven't even visited yet. Mainly because, like, that area, it's so... It's, it's not even... It's not pedestrian friendly. But so I'll show you what I mean as I'll try to zoom in without the focus just, like, pissing me off. <sighs> oh. Guy here is holding a camera. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, so that you see right there, that's all like landfill. They're all, they're literally like physically uh, building the eastern uh, waterfront neighborhood. And that's pretty much the main reason why the bridge is there, if I'm not mistaken. But man, it, lo it looks so cool. Yeah. And yeah, there's another plane, but uh, I ain't gonna film that. <sighs> I think I'll just head home after this. It's getting late. By the time I get home, it's probably gonna get dark. And my batteries, my batteries at two bars, so. I think that's York Street I'm coming up to as we head back onto uh, Queens Key uh, West. And look, it's. Uh, today was supposed to be s a bit snowy. I mean, yesterday we got like freezing rain again, it was very effed up weather. 
but uh, surprisingly this morning when I looked outside and I checked the weather, no rain in the forecast. Hallelujah. So I just want I just wanted to use this to use today and go out and film. I mean, I do have homework to do, so certainly I am going to finish that. But uh, of course, this weekend I'm busy, so I uh, won't have time to film anything. I hate when the streakers are... I hate when the wheels are just full of oil. Or do they need oil so they can like relieve the, the, the little the, the screech right there? Man, that annoyed me when I was a little pip squeak. <sighs> yeah, there's York. It was actually kind of snowing. Like again, like like there's it's snowing outside of a GTA, but it's only getting a little bit of it here. It's just like little flakes. I noticed that uh, as I was on the uh, 900 departing, uh, I think Terminal One. Oh, I should have my gloves on for this, damn. If I'm not mistaken, this is the South Core District. Yes, a long time ago, none of these condos were here. It's crazy how thing, a lot of things have changed uh, like <laughs> over the past uh, decade and a half. Where everything was just all parking lots. <sighs> Alright, I think I'm going to continue this to, uh... To, uh, Bay Street, and then I'll hop into the, uh, Queens Key Underground Streetcar Station. Yes, that's the only, uh... That's the only... Underground station that's served by a streetcar line. Though again, when the Harborfront LRT opened in uh, 1990, again it was called the Harborfront LRT. Same thing with the Spadina LRT when it opened, but of course, they were using the same exact streetcars they were using for all the others, so... But everything between... There's a lot of comparison between our streetcars and the upcoming LRT lines we're getting. Just go online, it's a lot of explaining to do. Of course, down the street from here is the uh, Weston Harbor Castle. Is this Water Park Plaza? I know that's another RBC building somewhere on uh, Wellington. Maybe I'm seeing a lot of these uh, churches, uh, Texas chicken restaurants popping up. Man. I think I vaguely heard that place until the one near me opened up on Eglinton at uh, Loxley Avenue. And then I saw one as they were coming on to uh, Dixon Road from the 427 on the airport bus. And uh, these are safety barriers to prevent cars from going down into the tunnel. Yep, it is Water Park Place. There's just something right there. And uh, I think that's connected to the path. But, uh, I think I'm just gonna call it quits. I've been uh, filming for 19 minutes, but, uh, we're gonna, still gonna keep this a little longer and, uh, head down into the streetcar station. And, of course, just around the corner from here is the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal. And that is where you catch any of the ferries to the islands. Down there. And there is the Western Harbor. Look, Harbor Square Park East. And of course, if you keep walking north of Bay, you'll find yourselves right outside of uh, Union Rail Station and then eventually the Financial District. I think I'm getting a bit numb here. I'm not wearing gloves. I'm not wearing gloves for Christ's sake. But look at that view though. That's the Royal York. Oh great, now it's at one, yeah. 
This is gonna be the only walking video I hope today. I really like to film another one, but it's too damn cold. Hey, at least I'm wearing a little winter hat. I don't call it too like a lot of Canadians do. <laughs> okay. All right, now it's 4:24. I'm gonna head downstairs and I'll just uh, sign off. Don't see a streetcar yet. But uh, it's gonna be either the 509 or the 510, doesn't matter. Regardless, I'm heading to Union Station uh, taking the subway home. I've been out for over four hours now. By the time I get home, it's gonna be probably like four and a half or nearly five, we'll see. I guess I really do get out and about, that's for sure. We go. Yes, you can certainly cross over to the other side if you want to head over to Exhibition or Spadina Station, but yeah, clearly. This was built to really look like a, an actual LRT station, but uh, look, they even have the little uh, shapes there. It's like you're on the subway and you know, you gotta like point to a little shape there so that uh, the train is aligned and uh, open up the doors, but this is like highly different. But guys, I think that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you uh, did, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, Ready as always, uh, stay tuned for more and uh, check out my uh, older videos as well. And uh, stay warm, stay safe, and uh, have a great weekend wherever you may be uh, watching in the world. All right, don't, don't know when the next trick is coming, but uh, gonna head home now. Take care, guys. Adios. Bye bye.